Hello there, everybody. This is Grant Wilson, and it's the Collector 75, and welcome to another Transformers Generation 1 Micro Masters review. Uh, this is one I've never done before. I was actually planning to do this a long time ago, but things happen, and I just never got round to it. It was about, oh, about three or four, five years ago, maybe. Um, I bought this one a long time ago. It was complete with the box and instructions and everything. It didn't cost me too much. And... I realised that the stickers weren't great on it, and so I went out and bought the Repro Label stickers. This was about three or four years ago, um, with all the intentions of applying them, you know, taking the old ones off, applying the new ones, and then doing a review on it. But like I said, things happen, and it just never happened. And to be fair, it still hasn't. I mean, I've still, still got the original stickers on it. It's still, I've still got the Repro Labels ones with loads of others, which I've just never got around to using, really. But one day, so anyway, um, this is obviously the MicroMaster Base Countdown, and this is a fantastic toy. It is a fantastic playset. It's a fantastic toy. I love it. I really do love it. Um, and to be fair, I never used to give the MicroMasters enough credit, especially back when they came out. What about eighty-eight? Give or take. Uh, uh, so how old was I? I was about 13, 14. And, you know, you get into that age um, where you're thinking, well, should I still be playing with toys? And all that's going through your mind. And plus, to be fair, the Transformers just weren't what they were. Um, like I say, people can say what they want about whether I like G1 or not. I love G1. I love every single figure. But I know a bad toy. I mean, everyone who looks at any line that they like, like, say, if they grew up with Beast Wars, they grew up with um, the movies, you know, whatever. Right, you're going to get some good toys, you're going to get some fucking stinkers. Um, and it's the same with every line, but I can see the bad ones from the good ones. Um, so I don't I don't get the people who <laughs> say that, but there we go. Anyway, right, so yeah, like I said, so I know the bad ones from the good ones. Anyway, right, so I'm going to bloody say that and all. Um, anyway, I still love them. I still love them, even the fucking crap ones. I love them. Um, anyway, so I've lost my train of thought. But anyway, yeah, so um, at the time, I really didn't. I saw this one on the shelf, and I didn't like I thought, no, fucking Micro Masters, no. You know, because obviously they were taking a, light, uh, a cue from, uh, was it Gloob's Micro Machines at the time, because they were very popular. And so they tried cashing in on that, you know, like doing so micro transformers and stuff. I and mean, I just didn't like it. Um, so I, I bought a few, but not too many. And I saw this one, I weren't interested. But I say for various reasons. Um, but then when I got this one, I know I'm waffling on a bit, but that's what I do. Um, when I got this one, God, when did I get this one? This must have been late 90s. Um, and I thought, wow, what a fantastic set. It is brilliant. Um, but that's it. There we go. I can't say no more than that. If you can find it, and these are relatively cheap. Um, I saw one on eBay the other day. It's only at about £25, give or take. It had some custom, someone's painted it up or something. Um, but it was really, it was all there. Um, you could clean it up. But then the, when the paintwork of the bloke had done on it, weren't too bad. But you can get them relatively cheap. I think Optimus Wilbur got one. Um, and he, his was cheaper than I thought they would go for with the box and everything like that. So, you know, these are out there. Um, and they're as good as any of the new stuff, any of the new stuff that uses like the MicroMaster stuff. I do love the new um, Earthrise stuff, but I can't afford it. So I'm not buying any of it unless I see it and I've got a few odd pound or whatever. But I'm not going to go in for buying it like I was. Um, I've sort of given up on that a little bit. Um, right. So anyway, let's get on with this review because I've waffled on for about four minutes now. Um, so this is the MicroMaster countdown base. Now, this shuttle here is um, obviously the Japanese exclusive Galaxy shuttle. Um, it's not an original. This is the KO that came out, what, about three, three odd years ago? So I can't remember when. Um, and I wanted to show you this because this does fit with the base. And I'll come to that in a minute. So we'll pop him to the side for now. But this base, now I can't actually fit it all onto screen, unfortunately. So I'm going to do the best. But it is absolutely great. I love the look of this. Um, it is just, it is just a great, great toy um let's have a look we've got um our little micro master countdown just sitting in the cockpit can not get him out get out you bastard anyway here he is um, and he is a great little micro master there's nothing wrong with him at all let's uh, just zoom in on him quickly there we go he is pretty damn good he's got little stickers on the wheels and everything like i say they these ones aren't too bad um i might replace them i don't know yet um, but he's all right to transform him. He's just got a very simple transformation, probably like the um, the one that comes with Omega Supreme, probably. But to be fair, I like these old G1 ones. And that is him. And he's a great little moon buggy. He could, could have done with some paint applications, maybe. 
bring some of the uh, detail out and everything. But he is absolutely brilliant. I love him. He's a great little MicroMaster. Um, let's try something back, because that's about as much as you want him in vehicle mode, to be fair. Um, but he's great. I, I really like him. Uh, we're going to pop him over there. Right, we're going to rezoom back in, because otherwise it all goes a bit wrong with this bloody weird phone line. Um, there we go. Yep, there we go. Right, so obviously you can sit in the cockpit. There's another gunner sit uh, station over here. Now, I watched, um, is it Omega, Omega One Prime? Uh, I can't remember. Um, but I watched his review on this um, a while back, and he managed to get countdown sitting there i can't get mine and i don't know whether they've not pushed the wheels in far enough because obviously they're just pinned in but i can't get him in there but you could probably get another micromaster in there let's have a look i've got um him i don't know if this is road hugger hyperdrive oh, i can't fucking remember their names is it the micromaster sports car patrol let's see if he'll fit in there come here you um yeah so you can get some other sort of micromasters sitting in there if you really persevere probably um Oh, bloody hell. Put him over there. Uh, right, so yes, yeah, so we're going to show one thing. Right, so this is the rocket that comes with it. It is all right. It is very... <laughs> oh, dear. I'm not going to go that. Right, so we're going to pop that over there. We'll come back to that later. Right, so we're going to take this off here. If I need to get it off. Right, tell you what, some of the transformation on this thing is bloody scary, I'll tell you. Right, so now then, it should fit onto here. Now, it's going to fit onto these two ports here now unfortunately i don't know whether this is the case with the original galaxy shuttle but this one just does not want to fit um for some reason these are completely different sizes this one is just a little bit bigger than this one and the, they've taken the size i mean the, the shuttle uh, the rocket fits perfectly on here but this one just just don't i've tried um gouging out around this to just to make it a little bit better and i got it so it does sort of stay on there so I mean, it sort of fits at an angle. Um, I did do this better the other day. I was mucking about with it. And as you can see, it sort of wants to lean to one side. If I was to do it a little bit better um, and gouge it out a bit more, um, it will be a lot more sort of like stand there a bit better. Um, I did have it at one point where you can sort of sit it there and it sits fine. Um, and it's not too bad. It looks really good. Um, I had this up on my shelf the other day. Oh, and it looks good. That's great. I love it. I really do love the look of having Galaxy Shuttle on this. Um, yeah, so if you can get it, get it with this set. It is really good. Um, right, so we're going to pop him over there. All right, um, that's about it for this mode now. I actually did forget one thing. He's got this working elevator. I'm going to take this off now because it's already loose. We'll come back to that in a minute. Um, but unfortunately, what you've got to do is you've got to, It's a manual thing. It's pretty good because it's it'll stay there, but... You can't really have a bloke on it. It'd be better if you had a wind thing so you could come up and that. But it's all right. And as you can see, that wants to move all the bloody time. And it's pretty cool, actually, because if you've got the rocket on here, you put the rocket back on that, stick it on. And then when it's blasting off, you can do the old thing where that falls away and then it blasts off. That is pretty cool. I do like that effect. Uh, right, so we are going to transform him now. We're going to take this little gun off here. Remove these two little guns here. And I'm going to try and do this as best I can keeping this in shot but don't hold your breath all right so then this one folds out over here uh, and then this whole section here raises up uh, right then this is a very bit scary i'm going to move this all the way back over here uh, these things here you've got to fold these out now oh god you're talking about a 30 odd year old toy and you can hear it what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause it right here Right, so there we go. So what I did was I just undone them, got past that last little point because I didn't want to break it. Um, as you can see, probably when I'm moving this now, you can hear the noises. There we go. And it is very scary because it sounds like it's going to snap. But um, it survived all these years, so um, hopefully not. Uh, right, so that's the main uh, command center there. Right, so then we just got to start adding all the other little bits on now. What we're going to do is we're going to take the rocket first of all. We are going to halve it here and it's on these two little hinge joints so you rotate these up um, we're going to open this little section here fit a little micromaster in there it's pretty cool and he's got his little gun and that's pretty good and we can pop him over here anywhere you want he's got these little side things here so you can fit a micromaster car in there let me just see if i can get one in you can just about see that in view shot there so you can put a little micromaster car in there if you wanted to uh then what we're going to do right so we're going to start attaching all the little bits to this, sorry about that, my chair just decided to hit my camera there. Right, we're going to start attaching some bits over here, stick this on top. 
Well, that doesn't sound good, does it, eh? Uh, right, these ones go in here. Actually, we'll do them last. Where's my... Oh, I've got loads of bloody little ramps and stuff. To attach, these go in here. Provided you can get them. This one goes on the edge here. The MicroMaster ramp. This one you can put here. Well, you can put these anywhere, really, because these are just usual the little MicroMaster ramps and stuff. You can have one at the front here. You can put one over here if you wanted to. And that's what we'll do. Just so you can see sort of everything, really. Got another couple. Uh, this one can go here. Don't really want to go on that one. Um, hold on. That one go in there. You stay there, you little bastard. Uh, and that one go there. There we go. Right. And then we've got this little claw on. This is going to go over here. Like so. That's pretty cool. Then we've got this little gun platform that is going to go here. Get the right port. Um, and that's it. And then we've got these two little guns. They're going to go up here and here. Then we're left with this little red one. You can pop this either here, here. I like putting it over here. It's an extra little thing over here. And then you can put um, countdown either in the command thing up here. You can have him in here because it's loads of good detail. I'll show you that off in a second. Um, and that is it, really. Then you can put all Galaxy Shuttle coming into land over here. Um, and that is it, really. And then you can have your little Micro Masters um, anywhere you bloody want. Um, let's pretend they're all, all I've got. All right. And then there we go. We can have him driving in, can't we? And that is your Countdown Micro Master base. And it is actually really good. There we go. Um, it is brilliant. I love it. And now you can hook up all the other. <coughs> bloody hell, I can't talk. You can hook up all the other little MicroMaster sets to it. It is absolutely brilliant. It's a great little set. I love it. I really do love it. Um, one of these days, if I ever had the room to display them, I'd display this like this. Um, I'd hook up all the other ones to it and everything like that. Try and get some of the Japanese ones because in Japan, I believe um, nearly every single MicroMaster was an Autobot apart from one team. I can't remember who it was. It might have been, might have been these guys. These are the only Decepticon ones, I think. <laughs> can't remember now. Anyway, right, let's just show you off some of the detail just inside. As you can see, um, if I can get around here, it is pretty cool. It's like little thing, uh, computers in there, even though the Micro Masters themselves seem too big for it. It's <laughs> quite funny. Um, you can have a little Micro Master. And there are little ports up here where you can put Micro Masters. And they do have a kind of... Half of me just taking them out. If that gun weren't there, you would put the bloody thing right under a gun. So he'll stand there, and he's pretty solid on it. I know, it's pretty cool. Um, I love it. I really do love it. It's a great little playset. Um, and I do highly recommend it if you could find it anywhere. Um, it's definitely well worth picking up. Uh, right, so this is Graham, the Collector 75. Um, hope you enjoyed this review. Um, as usual, please rate, comment, subscribe and all the stuff. Um, don't forget, um, I usually try and post some videos and I try and do some live streams every now and again. Um, yeah. Uh, right, so this has been Grand the Collection 85. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.